So in yesterday's devotional, we talked about the triumphal entry and Palm Sunday and what Jesus does and what he does in our hearts, hopefully, as we desire to lay the palm branches down in our hearts to say, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But when Jesus does this, when he comes into Jerusalem, that triumphal entry really is a, almost like he, he, he's taking a bat to a hornet's nest because it's going to create conflict. And as we saw yesterday in the, uh, the time in scripture that we had in Matthew chapter 21, that effectively the Pharisees and the religious leaders don't want their religious authority challenged. And on Monday, following Palm Sunday, that's exactly what Jesus does. We read this following the triumphal entry, which happens on a Monday. It's when Jesus comes into the temple and he cleanses it. It says, Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. He said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. But when the chief priest and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did and the children crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. And they said to him, do you hear what they are saying? And Jesus said to them, yes, have you never read? Out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies, you have prepared praise. And leaving them, he went out of the city to Bethany and lodged there. This is one of the common uh, passages of scripture that people like to go to with regards to justifiable anger. And there is some teaching there for that. But primarily what I believe we see here. And the importance for us on this Monday of Holy Week is the authority of Jesus. That when Jesus went into the temple, he assumed that he, as the Son of God, had the authority to go in and to do what he did, turning over those tables. And not only that, when he calls their attention to it, he says, is it not written, my house? He says, my house shall be called a house of prayer but you have made it a den of robbers. So as you consider that today, think about the authority of Jesus in your own life and think about the temple that you are as a Christ follower uh, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Does Jesus have authority in your house? Does he have authority in every room in your life? Is, is Jesus uh, almost like a house guest? In, your, in the home of your temple that is you? And does he only have uh, access to the guest room and maybe some other rooms? And then there's this closet that we have that he doesn't have access to. Well, what Jesus desires from us and the lesson that we learned today from him going in and cleansing the temple is that if we truly are a temple of the Holy Spirit, as Paul refers to us in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, then we have to presume that when Jesus says that my house shall be called the house of prayer, referring to the earthly temple, then that he certainly claims authority over our house now. So the question that we have to answer would be responsible for today on this Monday of Holy Week is, are you allowing Jesus to be authoritative in every part of your life? Are there parts of your life and parts of your temple that you are trying to keep away from him? That we, in a sense, are becoming a den of robbers. We are becoming robbers in this temple that God has given us to house his Holy Spirit. And would you commit today to examining your life? It's my commitment to myself is that I am doing this as well is examining every part of my life. And if there is a place in which I am presuming to not allow Jesus to have authority over it, to confess that sin and to commit it to him. Would you do that today? Would you consider the things in your life and would you examine them and really be critical of and say, have I given Jesus authority in this area of my life? And if not, relinquish control, because guess what? When 
Every part of your life is under the authority and in the hands of Jesus. It's in the best hands possible.